Arriving in Wapping, reading his final copy of the News of the World, the first British paper he bought, it's now former owner Rupert Murdoch. In town on what is said to be a scheduled visit. At stake, his billion-pound deal to take control of B-Sky-B. Still backing the paper's former editor, now News International Chief Executive Rebecca Brooks, Mr Murdoch maintains she still has his total support. He will find her successor, Andy Coulson, the man in the editor's chair when much of the alleged phone hacking was going on, today on police bail. Mr Murdoch probably has to do about three things as soon as he lands in the UK today. The first one is to make sure that the B Sky B deal is on track or back on track and he needs to assess that. He also needs to effectively steady the ship. He needs to calm everything down and then he needs to get some guys around him that he really, really trusts and find out, and there is no suggestion that this is the case, and find out that none of his other titles here in the UK have been involved in hacking. Questions to today for Assistant Commissioner John Yates of Scotland Yard. Speaking here in 2009, concluding there was no need to reopen the police investigation into alleged phone hacking at the News of the World. No additional evidence has come to light since this case has concluded. I therefore consider that no further investigation is required. That, he now says, was wrong, making an unprecedented apology. He told the Sunday Telegraph, I didn't do a review. Had I known then what I know now, all bets are off. I would never have reached this conclusion. I am accountable and it happened on my watch and it's clear I could have done more. Yates was asked to look back into the original inquiry and it was, he, he took precisely three hours to do so before coming out saying there was nothing significant that had changed his mind about the original inquiry. And the significance of that was that News International played great reliance on the police statement. They, uh, they came out all guns blazing, saying, look, even the police say there's nothing to look at here. And so as the final editions of what was Britain's biggest paper hit the newsstands today, the scandal that brought it down is refusing to be put to bed. The news of the world itself may now be gone. The controversy that killed it lives on. Katie Stallard, Sky News.